hello guys i see some of you guys joining the stream you are welcome back once again so as you can see on the screen today we are looking at the introduction to basic accounting so you are welcome back you are welcome back so you are just joining us please make sure to smash the like button of this video share with your friends let also let them also join us so that we can learn together in that case so we are just going to start with the whole course in relation to what accounting okay so yes today's video you are just going to look at the basic word overview and nature of what how accounting as a discipline or as a subject emerges already or came into existence that's what we're going to look out for in today's video so keep sharing with your friends make sure to like this if you haven't liked this video so that we can reach as many students as possible so thanks you once again for joining today's session we are grateful to have you here so if you're a returning subscriber thanks once again for joining us if you are just a new member here make sure to subscribe to the channel here and then by this once we go live you're going to get our updates and get everything right away so thank you so today as you can see you're going to look at what the basic overview and nature of what accounting that's what we're going to look out for in today's video so accounting as a discipline started some years back ago started in an ancient time that's years what ago where businesses used to what, trade in battle system method or process that is where accounting as a discipline started because during that time people were dealing with what selling and buying of goods in what a better trade where they exchange goods for what goods okay so in that case in that case So that is how the discipline what emerges, right? It's where business people during that ancient time were trading in what goods for what goods, and then they need to uh, keep records of the goods that they trade with. Let's say I'm a, I'm a business person, I'm a businessman, and let's say during that time we were dealing with what we call the battle system. They were trading goods for what goods, and let's say I actually let's say exchange let's say my let's say my cow with my car let's say my cow with let's say with yours as let's say goods right at that time for the business to ensure for me to ensure that there wouldn't be any future problems or future what situations that may arise causing i mean confusions within how our system will operate they decided that if that is so then they need to keep records so that if there should be any discrepancy there should be any dispute that should arise then they will go for those what information then use it to settle any dispute so at that time they didn't what the battle system is that okay so where they were exchanging goods for goods and then they need to give a report an account is that okay to show that they exchange goods for goods with what one another so at that time they were using what we call the book the bookkeeping system they were using what we call the bookkeeping system where they will hire let's say a bookkeeper to do that record for them so at that time the records were what we called a single entry record it was a single entry record that they were what engaging on right so accounting as you heard of the word accounts the discipline means so to account to give a narrative of what has transpired for a particular period of time to give a narrative or i mean a narrative or a report of what has transpired for a particular period of time and more like it should be in something that we can quantify what in monetary value it's like so during that battle system they were using what we call bookkeepers where they're going to record whatever transaction that they deal with at the end of the day i hope that is clear so as and when the discipline emerges or as and when it goes through many years there, there was a man who, who was called luca pasioli luca pasioli he is actually the father of what accounting 
he realized that okay during that time the book the, i mean the people were using what the book keeping system where they were the activities that they were recording were once they exchange any item with any other person they will record it so for them they were just doing what we call a single entry so let's say if i exchange my car with you with a sheep i'll just record it in my book as one so i'll just record that i'll exchange my car with a sheep with another person or another business person and i'll record so that, that was just what a single entry uh, report or recordings that they were was undertaking but then as the discipline emerges or as it goes through the process early in 14th and 15th and then even 16th getting to 19th and that is where this man called Luca Pasoli, he is the father of accounting, came out with a system that will ensure that at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we have both what information at one end. This is what I mean by both information at one end. Well, let's say if I exchange my car with you, I'm going to have an information with respect to the car I exchange with you with your ship. You're also going to have an information with respect to the ship you also exchange with me with the car. And that creates what we call a double what way of what recording transactions at first the battle system they were using what a single word entry and this man introduced what we call a double way of what recording transaction and that's what we call in account we call it as what double entry in accounting we call it as what double entry so the double entry actually introduced the concept of what we call debit and credit debit and credit it was actually introduced by the father of accounts called Luca Pasioli that if there is any item that I should receive, if I should receive that item, then I need to debit it. it means that that item is going to be debited. But if there is any item that is going out, then the item is going to be credited. So that's that this concept of debit and credit. So we'll go much deeper to know how this I mean principle works. But one thing I wanted to know as a brief summary is that accounting, the Actually, the one that we emphasize, the person that we emphasize today as a father of accounting is called the Luca Pasioli. He introduced the concept of what the double bookkeeping system, and that involves the debit and credit item that you need to know. But then I'm not going to the, I've just given an explanation about how the principle works. I hope that is clear. So, an accounting per the definition, as I said, is to give a report or a narrative of what activities that has transpired for a particular period of what time. So that was just a brief history about our accounting. So we have learned that the father of accounting is called Luca Pasioli, and he introduced the concept of for the double entry. At first, they were using the batters the way they were using a single entry in recording transaction. But here, here is the case that he also introduced a double entry by way that all activities you're gonna have entries being done or twice. I mean, we'll go through these double entries that I'm talking about in much more details in our subsequent words presentation. So don't get confused just follow carefully here so as an accountant so let's go to the definition of how accounting is what is accounting so as you can see here as you can see here so as you can see here when you're talking about accounting this is how i define accounting accounting has to do with an act of what collecting you need to collect what an item what is the meaning of this collection that we are talking about? Collection here, we are talking about what? A term called source word document. Document. A source word document. An item called what? Source document or a term called source document. So let's say you, let's say a salesperson, right? And let's say your marketing manager sent you to go and buy something out. At the end of the day, or let's say, let, let's put in this way. I think this one would make my boy better. Let's say you are, let's say, an account clerk. And then let's say your manager sends you to go and make a deposit with the business bank account, right? When you go to the bank, when you go to the bank, at the end of the day, when you come the when you come to the business, right? The your chief or let's say your manager is going to ask you off. He's going to ask you off the receipt that actually you you went to the bank when you make the deposit. You made i mean i don't they're going to give you a receipt so your manager going to ask you okay what is the receipt let me see what actually transpired during the process of depositing was there any deductions or was there any i mean that is what i'm trying to do so they're going to give you the bank going to give you a receipt and that's what the manager going to what take it from and going to hand it over to the accountant 
is that okay so an accounting has to do with what collection so the collection i mean the source doc. so the source document as we are talking about is a term that denotes what a financial proof that an event has occurred or it shows it gives an evidence it tells business people or it tells an accountant that there is a transaction that has okay so for the accountant to know what you need to record at the end of the day you need to have what we call a source document so the source document is like the receipt that the manager requested for and that is going to be handed over to the accountant so you collect that source document okay and then record it and then record it so once you collect the source document it's going to record it in the boost of account so the recording comes in here recording and when you're talking about recording we are talking about what a book called journal a book called journal and a journal is actually a book in which recording are done so we have various types of journals that we use in accounting i mean we will exploit more when you get there so accounting per the definition first for you to account for an event you must first of all have an information about the event you are actually reporting or accounting for it of that declare so you collect that information and then you record into the book after recording then you do proper evaluation and communication and one thing that you need to know here is that all information that we are collecting that we are recording here and there should be of monetary value that is the main focus when it comes to reporting of what accounting information it should be quantified in what monetary terms that's the monetary value so information that you said that you are an accountant you are recording and it's not monetary value then it's not an accountant that you are actually recording so when it comes to accounting all the activities that you as an accountant you're gonna record should be monetary in value should be monetary in value so let's take note of that so an account i define it as well, an act of collecting recording evaluation and communication of what economic events so the economic events here i mean events of what business transaction what what do i mean by business transaction business transaction we are talking about transaction that always comes as a result of or that always results towards money that always results towards money i hope that is clear so business transaction we are talking about transactions that have money involvement business transactions transaction or activities of the company or the business that result towards money so economic events that are quantified in monetary so these are the things that an accountant you report you first of all collect the information that's the source document okay and you record it in a book called journal and once you record it you do proper evaluations and you communicate the information to the public so at times you can also define accounting as the process of recording right or course of collection recording and then even communicating of what the financial information right or communication of the economic event in monetary terms in financial statement to and then communicate it towards users what do i mean by users here when it comes to information let's say you are a researcher and then you have you are and are taking a research i don't know the day when you you are done with the research you're not going to keep the research yourself because the research is meant for you to solve a problem right so i don't know the day once you are done with the report you're gonna communicate the report towards interested parties who may be interested in your re report whether you are actually developing is that okay so that they can also use as a means to make decisions so in this case they can use as a means to make a decision whether they will come and join you as part of your business you are doing or to make any investment decisions in relation to that so that's how come after that you report the information to users you call them what economic what you call the economic what decision makers i mean they make they use the the report that you generate from the accounts of the company and they make decisions whether to part of the company or not to be part whether to make investment decisions and then to know the profitability and everything we are not going there yet these are just the basis so let's get the basis right so we have learned that accounting we are talking about our collection recording and then recording of what financial transaction or economic events that are quantified in monetary terms and then report this information towards users those who are who may be interested in the affairs of this account of that business or that company that we are talking about so that is the meaning of what accounting that's so here we we, we have we have learned that we have a collection as an account i need to collect you need to record evaluating so we go through all these terminologies that i've actually spoke about just now one by one to explain them how they work in relation to the definition of what accounting we are trying to build up I hope that is clear. But one thing you need to know here is that when it comes to accounting, 
all the report that you generate should be of monetary value if it is not monetary value then it shouldn't report because at the end of the day it should be it should carry value so that people can make informed decisions based on these or report that you are talking about i hope that is clear so other definitions say that accounting is the process of identifying identifying measuring communicating and other events are coming place and other events like economic information permit informed judgment and decision making by what users this is what i was talking about because at the end of the day once you report the information you should be able to have people to make decisions on it and to know whether the business is quite good or that they can join the business in terms of investment decision then the profitability and other stuff so that is all, the whole issue in relation to what accounting accounting you are talking about what collecting of information recording it and then recording it in a way that will give an informed decision about users about how the whole strength and then the i mean the strength and the weakness of how the organization are actually what being portrayed so that as me be an end user or me being an interested party i may look at it and then make a decision whether to be part of the company or not so that's what accounting actually is involved So this was what I was talking about. So here, the, the definitions that we are, we are talking about, the terms here that you can see there. So these terms that we are talking about are basically the functions of accounting. So recording here is concerned with ensuring, it's concerned with ensuring that the business transaction are quantified in monetary terms. So that's what I'm talking about, monetary terms in an orderly manner. And this is done in the book called journal. So this is what I was talking about here, journal. I hope that is clear. So. Recording here, we are ensuring that all business transactions are, that are quantified in monetary terms are recorded in an orderly manner. And then these are done in the book called what? Journal. So that is what recording is done. So once we get the item, we record it in a book called what? Journal. So let's take note of that. And then when it comes to classifying, classifying also is part of what? The activity of what? The recording. Because before any accountant can record any item, you need to classify the information that you have received and know which information is going to this book and know which information is going to that book that's what we call classification i hope that is clear so with classifying we are talking about it refers to the systematic analysis of recorded data with a view of group transaction or entries or nature so classification is done in a book or ledger so when it comes to classification it's part of all the activities of recording so once let's say you get an information a and information b and information c this information a information b information c won't be found in only let's say won't be hey, hey. done in so it won't be only in one book because the information a and b are different information you are going to classify them to the various books that need to be found all right so when it comes to classification we are talking about a leisure we are talking about a leisure we are talking about a leisure and leisure is also one of the books that we use in accounting that we use to record a summarized information that used to record a summarized information from the journal all right so leisure give a summary information of informations in the journal book right so please let's take leisure it gives an information a summarized information from the information that we have recorded in the journal is that okay is that okay so at the end of the day we classify them to let's say information a b is going to be in various class let's say class x y and what z i hope that is clear so that is the classification aspect that we are talking about and when it comes to summarizing of the information this is where we actually summarize all the information from the ledger in a better form that will give a clear picture of what we want to talk about and these are done in a book called or these are done in a statement called financial statement financial statement or financial statement so fs or accounting or statement so when talking about financial statement we are talking about a statement that we prepare to give a clear picture of what the information that we have recorded in the ledger and that we're going to use to report to what's outside so that i mean the user so that they can make what an informed decision 
based on the information that you have recorded and what you want to portray to the end users to make an informed decision so that's what we call a financial statement so financial statement in a form of trial balance is also part of financial statement income statement balance sheets even have what we call cash flow cash flow and other financial statement like statement of changes but then as i said these are just the basis so you're not just going to go through the elective part of for the accountant so these are just the basis for you to understand how accounting actually is being what actually is being done so we are just going to look at the basis they just the basis so they understand how the accountants and discipline works within our business environment but one thing I, I should have even let you know is that accounting is actually a language that we use in business accounting is a language that we use in business accounting is a language that we use in business right and this language you need to understand it basically you need to understand its features and how actually it works within our business environment okay huh. so that is something that we need to know that's something that we need to know and then you're also talking about dealing with financial transactions. as i said financial transactions you're talking about activities of the company that are of measured in monetary world terms so if you are saying that this is a financial trend but that doesn't have any monetary aspect in there and it's not a financial transaction so this was what i was talking about as part of the so economic event quantified in monetary, so economic event or financial or transactions i hope that is clear so financial transactions is also transactions that are of what monetary in value so let's take note of that let's take note of that let's take note of that so that is financial transactions items of monetary value or items that have what a financial character is called financial transactions and analyzing interpretations so at the end of the day i think that was is part of the activities of what evaluation and then communication it's part of the activities of evaluation and then communication so when you're analyzing and interpreting financial statement this is why you you record the financial data i mean the recorded financial data is analyzed and interpreted in a manner that will ensure that it gives a better informed what understanding about so that end users can make what informed use or meaningful what judgment about the financial or statement and the conditions in relation to profitability and then okay so that is the issue about analyzing and then so once you are done with the recording and financial statement going to be published out and then user is able to make an informed decision that's where they will interpret so once you publish it out through communication you communicate it out user is able to make what better informed decisions about the profitability investment purposes of the company and other stuff so this is the basis so let's get it right let's get it right and then communicate as i said earlier on is why after we analyze and interpret it by even the company itself right we communicate it outside to people also to come out with their decisions right so when it comes communication actually you are talking about when it has been analyzed and interpreted that to communicate it in the proper and proper form and manner appropriate person this is done through what preparation of distribution of financial reports such as what income statement balance sheet cash flow statement director support i mean these are the aspect of what the detail when you're going to look at them and move along so don't bother yourself with this income statement balance sheet. Then you will get to know these values as and when they becomes as and when they be. so these are just the meaning of accounting and its function and how this has been emerged for a quite longer period of time as a discipline so that is the whole discipline in relation to what in relation to a discipline actually we said it's accounting is a language that we use in business so let's take note of that let's take note of that if there is any question please let me know before i continue in that light So let's take note of that so after going through the whole issue about accounting and you should be able to you should be able to actually portray something that we should at least understand that if there's accounting what are the things that shows or what are some of the purpose or the objective that accounting as accounting information or accounting report should what portray so one of the activities that accounting shows or tell us as a purpose to users is that first one objective of accounting information that you should be able to 
satisfy legal regulatory requirement here we are talking about where if once you report it you are said that at the end of the day and as a business you should report for an assembling economic data and communication of these data to different individuals and what institutions i was talking about so the first use of accounting information that we can talk about here is what we call the owner or shareholders and my thing today probably today might be the first day you have heard of what we call a shareholders or i mean you have heard of it but then probably you might not know who a shareholder in a business is or owners of so let's let's get more excited with this who is a shareholder we are talking about a shareholder we are talking about a part owner of a business we are talking about a part owner of a business is that okay so when shareholders shareholders are actually those individuals that provides what money or resources to be used by the entity to run the affairs of what the business and then this is being run by parties called what managers they use a the shareholders money to run the affairs of what the business so at the end of the day they expect that the money that they provided to the business right should be used in a way that will result with the profitability right that will result in profitability and the better performance of the whole business i hope that is clear and then also the so this is one of the reasons why they will need accounting information to make a decision first you can make a decision about planning i mean the whole business to the next level that is one that's what decision making then also you can also interested in the accounting information for them to know how well their resources being used in the business and that will result to the performance of the business and then also to ensure they also need accounting information to ensure that the resource that they are provided is of secured is being secured by the business without what being what liquidated is that okay or that's without even going toward losses so they need the accounting information first one to make decision about how to move the business to the next level two to know the profitability and performance of the business and three also to know how what well, their yeah, resource is being secured by these parties who run the affairs of the business because when it comes to companies we have two parties that actually have hands in a company we have what we call the shareholders and we have called management the management run the affairs of the business and then in a day-to-day -day manner and then shareholders provide funds that will be used by management to run the affairs is that okay so management so, so sorry shareholders they are interested in what the the, the the dividends or let's say the profits or the performance of the company how well their resource has been used and then also how well their resource is being secured by this management and then they also need information to know how well they can plan and make decision for the next level of the business to what to undertake that is what that shareholders or owners need the financial or the accounting information in order to guide them in doing so that is something that shareholders would request or would actually subscribe when the accounting information is being published out they will need it for making this form of what decision makings and then to move on in that light and so that is what shareholders that is shareholders that is shareholders when it comes to management to as i said management are actually also need accounting information to know how well the business has been what performed is that okay because they are those who are who run the affairs of the business in a day-to-day -day what manner so they will need the accounting information to make decisions about how the day-to-day -day performance of the business is going how well their shareholders money is being utilized and to result in what the profitability of the business and then how well they can transform the business to the eighth next level so management actually need the account information a lot to make better decisions and to know how well the business can what function for future or to move or to function well to in future and that's what i'm trying so management needs account information in order to perform the function work. i mean their function work. the day-to-day -day information about all aspects of the business and, and outsiders i mean operate within by management so up-to-date information i mean a lot so that is how, what management actually does they will need the information to make decisions about how they should operate in a day-to-day -day manner to know the profitability of their business and then to know things that they need to comply actually the the environmental conditions that they need to comply also they need account information to make those decisions and then they are good to go and you also have what we call a customer or customers so customers also need the financial information to know how well the business can or survive 
when it comes to the accounting field, you need the accounting information. These are the users of accounting for we call them economic users of the accounting information. They will need it to know how the business can survive for a longer period of time, right? So that they can continuously provide what services. The business can continue to provide service to what these what customers. So they will need the accounting information to know whether the business is going to collapse or not going to collapse. Is that okay? So that they can know how to make their plans. They also need the accounting information to know in order to enable them to know whether the, the business can consistently provide them the kind of service with respect to their product, the prices, the quality, reliability, and delivery of data. I mean, do stuff. Is that okay? So these are the things also customers might also need in order to make their preparation with regards to their area of work business. And also have what we call creditors, creditors or suppliers. When it comes to business, too, we have some individuals who may actually not be proper probably part owners of the business but then they may supply the business or may offer the business their products or their service for for a credit terms right or for a credit term yes for a credit term so in that light in that light they also need the accounting information of the business to know that if you are to let's say supply a product to or offer a service to you on credit terms will you be able to survive to able to pay us once we offer these what services or we offer these products to you on credit terms, right? So they will need the accounting information to make decisions whether the business is going to survive into foreseeable future or not. Foreseeable future means that the business can operate within 12 months. That is from the month that they, I mean, the month they start their business to the next 12 months. So foreseeable future, I'm talking about the next 12 months. Let's say, let's say the business starts at January, then they should expect that they should operate from January to what? December. That's what we call 12 months. That's what we call foreseeable future. I hope that. So they need the information to know whether the business can survive within that 12 months and even go beyond that 12 months. And also to know how well they can pay a debt. Because once we supply goods to you on credit terms, we expect we expect that you may pay us as and when this is what due. So they also need the accounting information to make all these form of what decisions. To make all these form of decisions and then to move on in that case and the employees who also need the accounting information to know first thing that employee will request is also to know the whether the business can survive to foreseeable future as i've defined within what 12 months for self so because if the business collapses, the employee your, your work in a business has no any any important factor in relation to that because as, a, as an employee you always need to have an interest in accounting for me to know that your security so here we talk about job security job security job security okay so job security that's what employee also needs so if the business is surviving then your your, your job security is highly well protected meaning that you're going to earn what a regular what income right because once you work with a the company they respect or less the business they respect you to pay you so job security is one of the key things that employee will need and also the salary and wages, I mean, payment terms of, I mean, their remuneration, their payment, their payment that the company is going to provide to them. They also are interested. So that's one thing also interested in knowing from the accounting information to know how well they're going to be paid at the end of what, let's say the period or let's say months or whatever period that they are paid. So they are interested in the accounting information for one job security and then for their salary, their salaries or wages and other stuff. And then also, other activities in relation to that so as i talk about for them the employees their work requirements hours and holidays and those stuff ability for them the business to survive and to pay high wages and then other debts i mean that they may do the employees so that is something and you also have banks banks also part of the users of accounting information they also need accounting information to also to the banks are more like the creditors or the suppliers because the bank might also provide you a business. You basically want to start a business. They, will, they may provide you a loan. They may ask you to come out with your report, or accounting information, or financial statement, so that we can see that when we give our money to you, you can use it in a better way. And then in future, or within a particular period of time, we expect you to pay. You're able to pay within that time frame. So the banks also need the accounting information to measure the performance of uh, the business and also. It will guide them to know how well they can lend their money in the form of loan to the business and then as and when it is due they can also pay for it so these are the things that the bank also look out for 
from the account information because this will give them a clue whether they should make give loans to you as a company or not or lend you your money to start your business or not so that's one thing about what the banks and when it comes to public or public authorities or the government they need account information for tax purposes because a business as a business they need to pay tax so they will need the accounting information to know how well the business is performing in order to the to in order to help the government to put tax uh policies on the business for them to pay right all right so that is something about what the public authorities so first they will ensure that the survival of the business is being prolonged i mean the, the business will continue to survive so that they can regularly pay taxes as part of what the their government activities with the country or the, with the citizens so that they can easily govern the country in that like us remember the government will use our taxes to actually operate other activities within the country or to the citizens so actually they will need the accounting information for tax purposes employment and those stuff so always once you hear of public authorities in there or government agencies their interest in accounting information the key thing is about taxes that a business needs to pay in that light so these are the things that we look at when it comes to users of accounting information so if there is any question please let me know before i continue on okay up here louisa is in now please is the accounting part of the semester courses yeah, yeah i think it's part of it okay you know he's saying that are the venture holder part of shareholders no the benches are creditors they are not part of shareholders they are not part of shareholders shareholder is different from shareholders shareholders is different from the benches the benches are more like what creditors they are more like creditors that they provide what funds to the company so that they can use to operate the activities i hope that is clear please accounting one is only jenna is saying please accounting one is only reading or include calculation no no no, no. accounting it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't only include reading alone there are calculations to it so but as we have started i think these are just the basis because these are just an introduction overview of our accounting so just follow through just follow through and then get it so once you get the theory part you'll be you're able to help you to answer uh the calculation part is that okay so let's get the fundamentals right let's get the fundamentals right so that we are good to go we are good to go so let's get the basis right so that we are good to go so there wouldn't be any case so you're going to just be going through some theories so once you get the theories done then fine you're good to go so guys if you just join us you're welcome please make sure to smash the like button with this video and share with your friends so that they can also join us in that case if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe to the channel so that we can good to go i hope i've answered all questions i hope i've answered all questions so that so also when it comes to any discipline that we study right as an academia we expect that there should be something that should tell us that this is the discipline that we are talking about or if let's say you are a human being what shows that you are a human being i hope that is clear you are a human being what shows that you are a human being what should that you are human being you have what head you have eyes you have nose you have leg i mean these are the things that shows that you are what a human being so what also shows that this is an account as a discipline that we are learning that what will introduce us to a characteristics or features of what a useful accounting information what tells that this information is an accounting or information what will tell us that this information is accounting information so we are saying that these are the features of accounting information things that will tell us that this is an accounting information for an accounting information you expect that the information should be what relevant one of the key thing about you accounting information here is that it should be what relevant it should be relevant what do you mean by relevant here relevant of the information those that will be doing i um, mean going to specialize in accounting you exploit more of what we call relevant but here i'm just going to give you the just a surface idea about what relevant is so that i get to understand because there are some of us very learned accounting at high school so we shouldn't i mean confuse ourselves with a lot of terminologies okay we just need the surface you just need the basis so that it will ground us so that once we move on to the, the rest we can easily un understand because accounts is like building a house once you get the foundation right your next step is going to be what so easy for you to what flow 
I hope that is clear. So when it comes to relevant of information, we are talking about account accounting information should be relevant in order to help people to what what make decisions or make or evaluate the information in order to make decisions. So the account information in short is should be what relevant relevant in a sense that it should, it should help what users of the accounting information to to actually make what an informed decisions relevant. If something is relevant, what does it mean? Relevant. What does it mean? So relevant here means that it should it should be able to help what the users in order to evaluate the financial performance of the business and also to draw conclusions. More like it should help the users to make decisions. So if something is irrelevant, it means it doesn't have any important factor to play within our decision making. So relevant here means that it, 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 should, it should be something that it should be good, right? It, it, it should have that 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 needful character that will help users to make what decisions and then to make the decision about what the, the business so that is the relevant aspect it should be relevant I mean it should be useful for them to make a decision so that is relevant they also have an understandable aspect so understandable information so we are saying that it's an accounting for what makes an accounting information mean that it should be what understandable you should be understood by users of account so once i pay this information i can say that okay this is an account information because all the complexities within this information is being resolved it's being broken down and then has been understood because if something is un understandable you read it and you understand it i, I mean you're, you're able to comprehend it you understand that's what understandable for the accounting information so information should form the information should be in a form which is understandable by what users that user group all material matters should be disclosed without necessary compl so if something is understandable it means that there is no complexity of what information attached to that word information so let's take note so that is one character or feature of what account information then you also have reliable information if something is reliable meaning that you can depend on it right so the information should be reliable in a sense that users of account can de depend on it meaning that it should be free from any errors and then biases should be free from any errors so that if users are to make decisions they are making decisions because they think they have gotten what a right information so reliable here means that it should be free from any errors it should be free from any material errors and biases and so that if users are to rely on it they can make better informed decisions because the information that they are they are they are deriving from that kind of information is what reliable is dependable and then they can make what true decision and then to know whether to be part of the company or not so true and unfair so you see true and fair aspect i'm talking about here that's reliability it should be dependable it should be dependable and free from any material errors all right so that is one feature then also we have unbiased information more like similar to the reliability aspect free from any systematic or deliberate biases towards the users when do stuff so that is also on bias aspect. They also have complete information. That the accounting for you are saying that it's accounting. What makes it accounting for It's complete, meaning that you haven't left any 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 information out. All the information that you as a user you need as part of the accounting information, it has been provided for you. So the information is what complete. Alright. So accounting information should show all aspects of what business. If the information is incomplete, users of accounting for you will not be able to make sense. So meaning that all the aspect of the account information has been included and no part is being left out that's what we call completeness of all the accounting information you also have timeliness of the timeliness of information here means that the account information if it should be relevant for making better decisions it should be presented on time it should be presented on time so that users can make better decisions so that's what we call what timeliness of all the information information should be present should be prepared and presented to users on time so that is what we call timeliness of sorry of information it should be prepared and presented on time i hope that is clear so that is something about what timeliness of information you also have what we call comparability of information meaning that accounting information if you have to pick an accounting information from one company to another you should be able to compare that okay they should have some similarities right now when you compare company a accounting from which company b you can see that we have profitability part you also have profitability part in what company b we have let's say the the cost part of a you also have the cost part so these are things that make comparability of account information if you are telling that this is account information then it should perform the aspect of what 
it being able to compare with one accounting information to another or from one accounting information from one period to another is that okay so either from companies to companies or from periods to periods that's why we call what comparability of the information and these are the things that account information should reveal is that okay because of cost effectiveness so also when it comes to account information it should be able to once you prepare an account information you expect that it should be cost effective by saying that the, the economic substance that you derive from the account information shouldn't outweigh the benefit so the economic substance you derive for that the economy where you derive from the uh the account information should be more than the cost you're gonna incur from getting that accounting information is that okay so meaning that here yeah, the cost that you as a user you 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 incur to gain the accounting information shouldn't be more than the benefits you derive from that accounting information is that okay that's what we call the cost effectiveness so here your benefits should outweigh the cost i hope that is clear so that's what we call cost effectiveness then verifiability here means that information derived from accounting must be capable of being cross-checked or proceeded to be correct so verifiability we are talking about the correctness of what information so mean that we can say that okay this information is what has been proofed and is corrected so we can rely on it that's what we call verifiability it should be able to meet certain standard that we can say that okay this accounting information is perfect because it meets this standard i hope that is clear so that's what we call the verifiability of the accounting information in that lies okay so if there's any question please let me know before i can see in the on okay you know is saying that what's the difference between a journal and the ledger okay with a journal is actually the first book in which transactions are first recorded keep in mind that for journal is a book in which transactions are first recorded and then from the journal that we can prepare a ledger ledger will also give a summarized information of all the informations in what in the journal so ledger gives a summary information of all the records done in the journal is that okay but the journal is a first book in which transactions are recorded so i hope i've answered uh, your question You know, I think I've answered your question. Okay. All right. So you also have some some aspect of all accounting. So when it comes to accounting, we have a lot of branches of accounting. We have financial accounting. We have cost account. We have management accounting. We have taxations and those stuff. But then, as I've already indicated, these are just the basics. So I don't want to bombard you with any words and terminologies to like, to cause confusion. No. So you just get the basis. I hope that is clear so that we are good to go. Right. So when it comes to accounting, we have financial accounting, we have cost account, we have management accounting. I hope that is clear. So financial accounting, financial means finances, right? So financial financial is a way it's like more like an adjective that's more qualifying what the now accounting. Is that okay? So financial accounting, we are talking about recording of transactions that are quantified in monetary value. Is that okay? So all transactions that are quantified in monetary value is what we call financial accounting. And cost accounting, we are talking about accounting of what cost, right, of the business and ascertaining them in order to make decisions within the organization. So cost accounting or cost accounting information are used internally. You will get the difference between financial accounting and cost accounting. Cost accounting information are used internally. But financial accounting information are used both internally and externally. So with cost accounting, you are talking about what? The ascertainment of cost that you incur within the business. When I'm talking about ascertainment, I'm talking about where we, we, we actually pull all cost, where we pull all costs from various what sector of the business, all right, and bring them together and use the cost to make decisions within the organization. That's what we call cost accounting. Financial accounting, we are talking about what information that of monetary in value that we record, right, for making decisions both internal and external. With cost account, you are talking about cost. You are talking about what cost. So once you have cost account, think of what cost. The process of ascertaining cost. As the payments of cost, I have indicated, you are talking about pulling cost together in, 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 a, in, a, in a better form that will explain itself 
for people or users to make your decisions that's what we call cost accounting and then we have some professional but that defined cost accounting as application of accounting and cost principles methods and techniques that has attainment of cost analyze analyze of saving or excess of comp i mean these are just the definitions that they can give from chartered institute of management i can call them sima so these are just a professional body and these are how they define cost accounting so cost accounting is more like a better towards what we call management accounting so management accounting to an accounting or for the accounting that give information about management that we report within the organization so by the name you see this is an accounting of what management what information is account of what information about managers is that okay that we present in order to make our decisions so always look at the how the the, the the technology comes and how the word come and then pair the name you can easily define it management account you mean you're talking about what accounting for information relating to what management or managers within the organization that we use for formulating of what strategies plans and other things decision making and do stuff but of course we are talking about attainment of what or cause that we care within the organization right and that we can use for making what decisions so most of the times cost accounting is being ascertained for con cost control purposes we are able to control cost when it comes to, come to controllable of course we are talking about where we are able to compare our actual cost that we incurred as a business let's say you went to town you wanted to buy a water shoe you plan that okay i will incur a cost of let's say 50 cities to buy that shoe and you went to town and then you pay let's say 70 cities so the 70 becomes the actual cost and if this is becomes what your expected cost or what you plan to pay for it all right so cost accounting help us to control the cost that 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 we actually plan to incur and then what is has actually occurred so that if there is any deviation that occurred meaning that if what we plan we couldn't be able to meet it we can use cost information to control it so next time we wouldn't care that form of deviation anymore so deviation per the word when you hear of deviation you're not talking about negativity of that aspect deviation can be positive or negative depends on whatever way you want to put it that is a deviation for so cost accounting will help us to control cost by comparing actual cost and expected cost so these are what i was talking about when it comes to difference between financial accounting and cost accounting financial accounting information is actually the information is being reported both internal and then external but cost account we report it internal only for management is that okay and then with financial accounting information it should be is mandatory for every organization college what its financial account information to outsiders but cost account is not mandatory nobody will force you to publish your account to the public i hope that is clear and then we have other uh aspects that we can talk about i mean the, the, these are theoretical aspects you can read and then be able to what understand it so it's very simple and then you are good to go and also have some difference between financial accounting and management accounting so as you said financial accounts you are reporting both internal and external so as i said cost accounts like a better to management accounting what cost does management does a whole of, i mean a whole of a whole of cost accounting because management accounts is a senior brother of what cost accounting so whatever is within management accounting, whatever is in whatever is in cost accounting comes from management or accounting. So whatever cost accounting can do, management accounting can also do it and do it better. I'm just using as if they are human beings for the purpose of explanation. So when it comes to reporting of all the information, management accounting is being reported internally. They are not mandatory by law to report it to the general public. But when it comes to financial account, you should report it, you should be able to report it outside for people to make an informed decisions in that life so these are just something that you can get it when it comes to financial accounting the money can that of course accounting and then this world was talking about financial statement in the definition of the accountant that i spoke about it so when it comes to financial statement these are the financial you're talking about we will get them we will dive deeper a course that will help us to expose all these financial statements we have what we call statement of financial what we call it as balance sheet you have the income statement cash flow note and explanation of financial statement i mean these are what we call the financial statement that give a clear picture of all the information that we want to present to the public for them to make decisions so once you present to them you're able to help them to understand so that they can make what decisions and so that's what we call financial statement so let's take note of that and financial statement should a statement that should have what monetary value so if a, the item that you are reporting in the financial doesn't have any monetary value 
you shouldn't report. I hope that is clear. So that is financial statement. So you get to know what uh, statement of financial position is. That's balance sheet. What income statement is cash flow and those stuff. As we move along, we will get to understand those of them. So let's take note of that. So because of the nature of financial statement, there are some limitations that because for financial information reports or information that are quantified in monetary terms, it does ignore. So let's say you have a manager who is very skillful and always ensure that his knowledge about certain situation within the business help to improve the performance of business. That one is not going to record it because it doesn't have any monetary value. So that's why he said it does ignore vital information that lacks financial character that doesn't have monetary word value. For example, customer base of the firm, skills of the management and those, as I was saying, is that okay? And other issues. I mean, we will talk about all these issues as we move along. That's, I mean, it does not provide detailed analysis, does not disclose present value of business. I mean, we get into these stuff, stock valuation, depreciation, those stuff. So once we move along, we get to understand them. So these are just the basics. So I don't want to bombard you with anything that will cause confusion. So let's take note of that. And also you have some careers in accounting actually these are not it's not limited the careers are not limited to just this alone we have a number of careers of accounting we have financial accountant course and money accountant invest advisor financial analyst or the test tax advisor i mean you have a lot you have accounting teacher lecturers and do stuff so you have a lot about careers in accounting is that the case so it's not limited to only this part alone so that is something about introduction an overview of what accounting nature and then function of accounting. So if you have any question, please let me know before we bring the curtains to an end. So let me know if you have any question. So please if you haven't liked this video, make sure to like if you haven't subscribed to the channel too. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel so that by this way you're able to get it right So or we draw the cuttings on it. So thank you for watching this video. Like and share with your friends as well. Like and share with your friends as well. So if there's any question, let me know before we end for today's video. Alright, so once there is no question that I need to attend to, then on that note, we'll end here. Okay, you know, it's saying that how can I get this ebook? Okay, this book I'm using is actually an accounting terror. So you can get some from the town, whatever you are, you can get some. It's called terror. Terror. It's called terror. Terror. So when you go to town and they want to ask of you, you can. If I want to, it's a terror actually. Accounting terror, so it's accounting book called terror. So when you go get go to whatever you are, just ask of them that I want terror accounting, then you're gonna get some to use in that light. It actually gives the basis of an accountant, so you can use them and then can help you to prepare in that light. So it's not my book, but then it's a book that I'm using from Terror series. So the Terror series. So let's take note of that. So since there is no other question, thank you, thank you for joining for today's. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure to subscribe to the channel so that once we also go live, the next thing you're going to do, you can join us in that case. So our next meeting is going to be on accounting equation, accounting equation. So let's take note of that. Let's take note of it. So guys, I'll see you. Make sure to like and subscribe and share. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.